Hey guys, uh, Jeep video here. We received in some new shinies today. <laughs> Let's get the box open and I'll show you what's in there. All right, guys, so what we have here is a set of the ball joint deletes from American Iron Off-Road. Uh, I recently saw a video install of these on YouTube uh, where they were installed by Josh and Providence Lively of Rock Solid Rig. Uh, I reached out to them and they almost immediately responded back to me and Josh was super helpful in talking about them and discussing them and he suggested that I reach out to Josh with American Iron Off-Road and talk to him about them. So I sent a request to, to contact him and discuss them and he again almost immediately responded to me and, and you know told me about them and uh, I asked him some questions and such forth and he was super responsive to, to all of my requests and, and inquiries. Uh, he did tell me that they are hard to get right now as they are selling like hotcakes. Uh, I explained the situation that we're in and what we were wanting to do and he was like no problem let me see what I can do uh, he worked his butt off and he got me a set out right here thank you Josh so much uh, their customer response was fantastic um, American Iron Off-Road I, I can't say enough about him and, and Josh as well he was super helpful super polite super professional to deal with and again he got them out ASAP to me so let's get them open and I'll show you what's in here okay All right, so what we have is instructions. <laughs> Perfect. Um, we have a set of the uppers and we have a set of the lowers. Right, let me set the box down. Okay. These are very easily identifiable which is the upper and which is the lower. The upper has a thin shoulder on it right here. It presses in from the top. The lower has a thick shoulder. It presses in from the bottom, okay? You want to be careful when pressing these in as you do not want to press on the spherical bearing. Only on the outer shell. They go in. It's not hard. Just be careful and they will go right in there. Again, just press it until the shoulder seats out here. Same thing with the bottom. So again, top, thin shoulder, in from the top. Bottom, thick shoulder, in from the bottom. Okay. What these do is, is they replace the old-fashioned ball and socket ball joint, which is kind of prone to failure on the Jeeps not a problem with the ball and socket design by no mean it's it's really our own fault because we as jeep owners can't leave things well enough and we all have to run huge tires you know who you are that's me um so again these have a spherical bearing in it it's not a ball and socket design the spherical bearing takes the load way better um, they are tough uh judging from the way they're built these things should last quite some time they are rebuildable as well and it is my understanding, and after looking at them, it does not look hard to rebuild them. The cost of rebuilding these is way less than a set of ball joints. So that's a plus in my book because nobody likes to change ball joints in a Jeep. It kind of sucks. Not hard, just I don't want to do it. I would much rather just take a clip out, pull a bearing, put another bearing in, put a clip in. So again, thank you, Josh and Providence at Rock Solid Rig. Um, fantastic people and thank you josh at american iron off-road for getting these out to me so let's get busy and let's get them in there okay guys so where we're at as you can tell we've got the tire off we have pulled the caliper off we are suspending it here so it doesn't hang on the brake line we've got the caliper mounting bracket off with the pads we have pulled the rotor off as well We've got the speed sensor out, and of course we've disconnected our tie rod in here. And then in the back here, there are three bolts that will mount the hub up against the turning knuckle. All right, so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna pull this whole axle assembly in one piece. Okay guys, so we pulled the axle out here. Like I said, we just pulled it all in one piece. We have 
pulled our cotter pins out of our previous ball joint hold down bolts and we're going to get those nuts off of there and then we'll get the steering knuckle off of there all right so as you can see we've got the we've got the steering knuckle pulled off here <laughs> we pulled our two castle nuts got the steering knuckle off and this is why we replace them every time uh I mean, this Jeep only has 50,000 miles on it. Um, this is not the first set of joints. <laughs> but, you know, we choose to run oversized tires, and that's just part of it. Now, it had stock uh, ball joints put back in it whenever they replaced the first time. But, you know, I just think they should still last a little longer than that. But there it goes. I mean, just sloppy as can be. So we'll get the press all set up, and we'll press these out. Uh, the top one presses out the top, and the bottom one will press out the bottom. And uh, we'll get those out and get everything cleaned up. <clears throat> All right, so what you need is a ball joint press kit. There's a million of them out there. But if you do buy one, um, just be careful as not all of them can do every vehicle. So just, just do a little bit of research and buy you a set. They're not really expensive. And I mean, if you're going to own a Jeep, <laughs> you really should have a ball joint press anyways. So let's get it rigged up and we'll get these joints pressed out. Okay, so we got our, point, our press pulled up here, <clears throat> and we're going to press, uh, of course, the top out through the top. So we've got a sleeve on here, so as we tighten it down, we can actually pull the joint up into it. So now, all it is is a matter of getting a big old ratchet and crank those dudes out. So let's get it out. Okay, so as you can see, we got the top one popped out of there, and now we've reversed our tool. We're gonna put our rod up through the top hole. We've set it up where we can push down onto the joint and we'll pop this one out as well. One more out lower. Okay, so there it is guys. We got both uh, the lower and the upper pressed out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean up all the holes and uh, get all the dirt and grime and everything off of it. And we'll get it ready to pop in the new uh, American Iron Off-Road uh, Ball Joint Delete Kit. All right guys, so we got all the holes and everything cleaned up around it. <clears throat> and like I say, it's real easy to identify uh, which is which. The top joint has a small shoulder in it and it will press in from the top like so and the bottom one has the thicker shoulder on it and it will press in from the bottom just like that okay so let's get the press all set up and we'll get these pushed back in okay guys so we got the cups pressed in there um it's it's not hard it's a little fidgety they they do want to kind of try to to twist on you a little bit and get crooked but you know you just keep arranging your press until you get them in there pulled smoothly uh, once you get them in there, this lower stud will come in from the bottom, as you can see. There is an O-ring that goes in, and then this conical washer goes on there, and then you thread on this uh, nylon lock nut, okay? It's the same way with the top. So the stud will go in from the top, okay? Underneath here, there's an O-ring and another washer, okay? The O-ring goes in, the washer goes on top of it, and then your stud sticks down onto it, okay? Once you got those in there, then you'll put your steering knuckle back up on there and you'll begin the torquing sequence for these bolts. So let's get that on there and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay guys, so we've got it all torqued up here and you'll notice that once you get it torqued up, you see this gap in here, okay? There's a gap there. There's a little bit of a gap in the lower that is supposed to be there, okay? Don't freak out. You gotta remember, these are spherical bearings, not ball and socket. So it doesn't have that grease cup that goes over it anymore to, to help cover that up so that you don't see it. So that's supposed to be there. That's the, what they look like. You get it all put together and there they are. Okay, so now that we've got them all torqued up, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna get the axle put back in. We'll get all the brakes put back on it. We'll get the wheel bolted back on. Of course, the tie rod end snitched back up and everything like that. And we'll get this side back together. 
All right, guys, there it is. We got it all back together. As you can see, we've got our new American Iron off-road ball joint deletes in here. Uh, we've got all our speed sensor back on there, our brake caliper and everything's all mounted back up on there. <clears throat> so just a quick overview once we're done now. Um, again, your upper will have the thin shoulder on it. The stud will go in from the top. Your lower has the thicker shoulder on it. It goes in from the bottom, okay? Once it's all assembled, this gap that's in here on the top and the bottom is normal. So don't worry about that. Um, once you get the cups pressed in and you put your studs in, like I say, your, your bottom stud is going to go in from the bottom and then it's got a, a lock nut here on the top. Okay. So once you slide your, your steering knuckle back up on there, you'll just finger tighten this bottom bolt to hold it up there. And then you'll go ahead and torque this upper nut to 40 pounds. And then you'll come down here and this inside lock nut right here will torque. Let me see if I can get you a better picture of it. Kind of hard to see in there. That'll torque to 50 pounds. And then you'll come up to the top again. You'll retorque the top to your final torque of 50 pounds. And then you'll do your final torque on the bottom nut here to 85 foot pounds. And that is it. Like I say, it's really nothing to putting those things in there. And, um... It, it's going to cause, uh, or not cause, it's going to save a lot of headache down the road with, with wore out ball joints every 25,000 miles. So <laughs> we're going to put these things through some paces here pretty soon. A couple of weeks we're heading out to uh, Marble Falls, to the Hidden Falls off-road park out there. <clears throat> and um, we'll see what we can do with them. Uh, see how they last and uh, hopefully it's good. I mean, they got some good recommendations on them. So we'll see you guys down the road. Just uh, eat, sleep, repeat on the other side. No big deal. See you later.